I wanted to talk really quickly about the pieces I'll be using for my electricity setup in my van. I am going to be using the electricity setup to run my fan, run my lights, charge my phone, charge my wireless hotspot, charge my computer, and then run any power tools or charge any power tools that I may be using. First, I have a 150 watt solar panel from the Renogy company. The solar panel has these MC4 connectors on the other side. They're going to connect to these cables. The positive one will have this 30 amp solar fuse connected in between the output here and the input on this cable. These cables will run directly through this box adhered to the, the roof of the van going into the body through the roof. And the ends of these cables, these sides right here, will go into my solar charge controller inputs, positive and negative. The solar charge controller will be used to convert the energy coming from the solar panel into energy that can charge the battery. It will also be the brains of the entire system and it will tell me how much voltage is left in my battery, basically how charged it is. The solar charge controller will be connected to the battery using this six gauge wire. These two ends will go into the battery inputs. The positive end will have a 40 amp breaker that connects to the positive side of the battery. Uh, I'll cut the wire and I'll put the breaker here so that there's a breaker between the two. This is a 100 amp hour lithium ion battery, not a lead acid battery like you may find in a golf cart uh, or the types that are sold at Walmart. This battery is more expensive, but it can be used a greater number of times and it can be more fully depleted without sustaining any damage. The battery will be connected directly to my inverter using four gauge cables with a 100 amp breaker in the middle of the positive cable. Now the inverter here is a 1500 watt sine wave inverter and it changes the 12 volt battery into a usable 120 volt system I can use to charge my devices. Finally, the solar charge controller has these load inputs that I will use to connect these cables. I'll snip them up so they fit to my fuse box. The fuse box will be connected to my fan and any lights I have installed using this type of cable. The positive wire will have an on off switch in the middle of it so that I can cut power if I need to from, uh, from the controller to the, the lights and the fan. That's everything. This is all of it before it's installed obviously. Just thought it would be easier to take a look at it like this before it was put in. Uh, I'll install it and we can take a look at what it looks like once it's all input. Thank you. Got the solar panel uh, attached here to the roof. I used these corner brackets that I drilled into the side. These aren't the recommended Z brackets that come with the panel. Uh, I just didn't have those, but I got these at the hardware store. I used these self-tapping screws to uh, to hold them on. It seems pretty solid. I'm going to do these two on the side last because I'm going to hook up the cables as the last thing I do. And once I drill these down, I'm not going to be able to get to the cables anymore. And uh, if I hook them up, I mean attach the MC4 uh, attachments and my fuse. But I think how low this is to the ground, I mean to the roof, uh, it'll be on here stable enough. I don't think it's going anywhere once it's got all six screwed down. Now I'm just going to drill the holes for this guy, run the cables through, leave these up. It's not supposed to rain tonight and I'll be able to finish everything tomorrow. got my two holes drilled that I'm going to run my cables through and I'm about to put them on. I'm just going to use this Sikaflex around the edge of this piece. And I'm gonna put it through. I'm gonna run the cables coming through, through there. Uh, I didn't put a grommet in, but I sanded the edges down. They're pretty small, so these fit pretty tight, so I don't imagine there's gonna be a lot of wiggle room for the, uh, 
roof to cut the cables. All right, I'm just gonna get ahead, uh, go ahead and do that. I've got this piece here, cables running through it to the body, and then underneath, I'll connect the MC4 adapters to the to the uh, the solar panel. But that's the last thing I'm gonna do. I use Sikaflex to connect this piece to the roof. Watertight to dry in you know 24 hours. It's not supposed to rain, but it looks pretty good here. Pretty solid. And now I'm ready to do the rest of the electrical setup. I've got the electrical setup pretty much done. I did make an extremely stupid mistake, uh, and maybe this will help you not make the same mistake. I have my battery here, and I was hooking up my inverter. I put the negative on the positive, positive on the negative. Killed the inverter immediately, so this inverter does not work at all. I uh, have to order a new one. But uh, other than that, uh, everything's looking good. So here's my fuse box connected to my battery, just my switch. So when I turn this on, I've got my fan here. We can see that the fan is working, which means my electricity is good. Uh, I haven't yet connected the solar panel last two MC4 adapters to the charge controller. I am waiting until I get my new sign inverter so that I'm finishing everything all at once. So I finished my electrical system here. I've got my inverter installed, connected directly to my battery. Uh, the inverter works really well. Um, Connected positive to positive, negative to negative. I can run out of all three outlets at once if I'm charging things. This is really all I'm using it for. Uh, I just got it screwed right into the floor so it doesn't move. Uh, very happy with this, glad to get it installed and that pretty much finishes the electrical setup. I've got the solar panel now collected to the charge controller this finishes my electrical system as you can see all the cables are here i did decide to connect my fuse box directly to the battery rather than going through the load uh inputs on the charge controller works fine and this is the whole system set up panel to the charge controller charge controller to the battery battery to the fuse box battery to the inverter one thing you have to make sure is you get all the right cables, but that is the entire setup and it's been working really well these last several days. I'm very happy with it and I'm very happy to have it installed. I have a link in the description for all of the pieces that I used in this electrical setup. It worked really well and it has been working very well for me. I anticipate it'll continue to work throughout this year. Uh, the link includes all the cables I used, all the fuses that go in between each piece of hardware, all the pieces of hardware. Uh, if you really want to make sure you have everything down, watch the first three and a half minutes of this video. It lays out really exactly what you need. Um, it's a little out of focus, but it, the price is right. Uh, one thing being said, I am an affiliate on Amazon. Uh, I think that means I get paid if anyone clicks my links. I don't know. It's never happened before, so maybe I get paid. Um, but feel free to use this electrical system. Like I said, worked great for me. Might set you back a little under two grand, but I think it's very high quality, and for what I'm doing, it's working perfectly.